I'm very pleased to be able to welcome you to Leicester as you gather uh, at De Montfort University for the Gathering Voices Conference. I know you've come from all across the country to be here and uh, uh, we're quite good in Leicester at welcoming people. It's one of the things I think that marks us out as a place. And I'm really glad that you come and bring your experience as part of the LGBT plus community, uh, bring your experience together in order to reflect and to help the wider community, whether that be in the church or in other organisations, uh, learn from your and our experience so that we can all move somewhat from simply being welcoming, which of itself is really, really important, but the shift from welcome to full inclusion is one which we still have to learn a great deal about. The city of Leicester is one of the most diverse places in the country and we sit in the middle of rather beautiful rowing countryside uh, with market towns and villages. We're a real mix of uh, traditional community and modern multicultural community and that's a good place to have this kind of a conversation and it's a good time to be having this conversation because the wider context of our society makes it quite difficult to have profound and life-changing conversations with one another particularly over issues where there is disagreement. I'm the Dean which means that I have a responsibility for the chapter and the community at Leicester Cathedral. But it also means I work carefully with uh, the bishops of our diocese and the senior team to provide some leadership for the Anglican community here in the city and county, but also to provide some public Christian leadership uh, in the community at large. I'm sure it's fair to say that our Church of England diocese here is as diverse and divided over issues of LGBT plus um, as any other in the land. Uh, we'll have the full spectrum of people. Uh, as the Dean, I find myself uh, as a gay man in a civil partnership and I want that to be a very natural and normal part of my life, which about which people are aware, but equally I want that not to be the only thing that's known about me. And for a long time we've worked, particularly at the cathedral, to be an inclusive community, which not only uh, inclusive with respect to sexuality, but in respect to other issues as well, the other gamut of things where people can experience exclusion and lack of understanding. But beyond that intention, I think what we've demonstrated over the years is uh, LGBT people in the cathedral being insignificant uh, staff and volunteer and other leadership roles and exploring their potential and vocation as Christian people uh, in all the ways we would expect anybody else to explore those things. In our diocese, we've sought also to provide uh, some leadership with respect to this. In particular, my colleague Karen uh, gathers together uh, a group that meets three or four times a year called Sparkle, uh, which brings together Christians from different denominations, but particularly from the Church of England, but with others as well. And notably, particularly those who are also asylum seekers and refugees here in our city who've experienced multiple uh, aspects of exclusion and who bring to us a very vivid sense of Christian faith alongside a profound and often painful experience of, of exclusion, yet now on a journey to inclusion and to finding spaces in which their voice and their gifts can be fully offered and explored. So maybe there's a particular experience of being LGBT plus here in Leicester that the Christian community has to offer the wider world um, as sometimes the big tectonic plate questions 
uh, between different churches across the world come to bear on the people here, um, not in abstract ways, but if you live in an environment in Uganda, Nigeria or wherever, where being LGBT plus uh, really has big impact on your safety and well-being on a daily basis, to bring that experience here and to inform therefore the way we might go about opening up those conversations in all of our communities uh, it seems to me to be one of the distinctives that we have to offer and explore here. So I'm really sorry that I can't be with you personally today. I would have loved to have been able to meet with you and to learn with you. Uh, but I wanted to offer my greetings, my prayers and my hopes for God's blessing on your gathering. And if any of you are able to uh, pop by the cathedral, you'll be most welcome and indeed uh, to gather at evening prayer at the end of your day together. Uh, do take our good wishes to the other communities from which you come and be assured of our prayers and our blessings.